I've been talking to people walking here. We've been talking about next year, and I'm sitting there saying, I'm not going to be here. <laughs>
Gary West, the owner of Favorite Maximum Security, said he would file an appeal on Monday. Oh, I had this shit wrong the whole time. Man. I thought the underdog won, and then they flipped it. Nah, bro. The oh. underdog was second. Wow. And they gave it to him. Holy shit. Okay, I've had this shit wrong for a couple of days. That's even crazier. It's, it's, I thought it was bro, somebody shit. made... Oh, that's fucked up, 65 dog. and one. Hell of people lost money. That is fucked up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hell of people lost money. Oh my god! So if you was betting on the favorite, you wasn't gonna win too much money anyway. You probably gonna win about seventy cents. Yeah, <laughs> but still, but everybody know, betted on him. Everybody and everybody fucking having, lost. People be having them trifecta. So he came through like, uh, he about to win the triple crown and shit. And they was like, hold on, nah, hold on. I'm talking about that shit took like thirty minutes too, man. Twenty two took, minutes. Twenty two. It took hella long. They went and did an instant replay like it was football. But they did that shit hella times. And then found some shit. Dug up some shit on them and gave it to the sixty-five to one underdog. Can you, bro? So sixty-five to one. That means you bet a dollar, you get sixty-five. Sixty-five dollars. Holy shit! You bet a hundred, you get sixty. You get sixty-five hundred dollars. That's a month of rent out here. That's a. And you got a, a nice spot if you spend sixty-five hundred. You got you got two bedrooms. <laughs> God damn, that's fucking wild. I thought it was the complete opposite, bro. Nah, bro. Holy shit. I want to go to the fucking racetrack right now. It, also, a black dude, since Country Run won, Country House, I mean, yeah, a black dude had won this sweepstakes for like 280000 It was on TV, too. He got the check and everything. So I was like, you know, that's cool. What what, what was that about? It was some type of sweepstakes from, uh, I forget, one of these companies. And it was, I guess, every person had a horse. If your horse won, you get... Money to either give you, either pay your mortgage off, or you can go get you a new house with that money. Oh shit! Well, like two hundred eighty thousand dollars. He had, and he had the underdog, huh? Like, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah! All right, well, I go to the racetrack on Sunday, so you know, when y'all might see me out there one day, giddy up. Let me know that's how you go, man. You gonna uh, go to Golden Gate? Gonna, yeah, so it might buy me soon. I mean, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm. What, what is this next Sunday? This Sunday coming up is Mother's Day, though, right? Yeah, y'all always in there. Do y'all still do that? Mm -mm. Uh -huh. So a couple years, uh -huh. but shit, you never know. I'll hit you. Um, let's talk about the Warriors. Oh, my team, man. So we got a lot of Bay Area listeners and watchers, and most of y'all is uh, Warriors fans. Probably most of y'all bandwagon Warriors fans. You don't know who Bimbo Coles is, right? But um, yeah, Warriors. Is, you know they still chugging along. They, they what they up in the series? What two, two, one. two to one right two now? One. So they still got the advantage. Right. The first you know first round series didn't go so great. It's, <laughs> they still won though. Clippers was a tough team, though, man. I ain't gonna lie. They should have ran that, through. That one game, we shouldn't have They should have Fernet ran through their ass. <laughs> but, um, so we're gonna talk about the face of the Warriors. The franchise player, Steph Curry, is Ward not Dale. Warden. Wardale. Yeah, I'm saying Wardale. Wardale Curry Jr. is, uh, he ain't been doing the best. Especially this series. This nigga missed three layups last game. You said he's, he's shaving points. You think he's shaving points? Nah, I mean, that was just... I'm the, fucking with you. Yeah, <laughs> that was just the only way I could think of him playing that fucking bad. Yeah. And getting hung on the side of the rim. Why are he trying to dunk anyway? Because he was missing too many layups, so I guess he thought he dunked. <laughs> and then he looked... I remember, I saw him, he looked back, and he jumped, and I guess he didn't know where the fuck he was at. <laughs> oh, that was just embarrassing. He's man. playing lost, man. So why you think? You think it's because because KD balling so hard, he just don't know how to. They no, they ain't got the balance. No, I mean, I mean, when's the last time KD for one? I mean, I know he's he's capable. Of, he can score fucking forty points a night if he wanted to. Right. But when's the last time that he's done that shit? It's been a minute. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe. But that that's, like, I feel like Clay is used to being like, all right, y'all niggas balling the day, cool. I ain't tripping. Clay gets the same amount points. of shots basically. Cool. And but Steph, though, this nigga is playing like he don't know what the fuck he doing. If Clay shit don't drop or it do drop, it really doesn't matter. We'll win anyway. But I don't know, man. He he just can't get in them fucking rhythm. And, I mean, they're doing a great job defending them off them screens. Like, they're cutting that shit off, man. And it's like, I guess you don't really have time to say, all right, we're going to keep trying to get Curry in the game. Like, nah, man, get yeah. with your calf yeah. and just hope shit work out, you know? Like, Kev was running the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he's going back to Texas days, son. Just give me the ball. Just give me everything. the fucking ball. <laughs> I mean, it's working. I mean, he fucking busting the ass. Like, he almost got Kawhi numbers popping off. I mean, I'm talking about, like, you know, yeah. percentages and shit. 
But um, yeah, let's talk about KD. This nigga's been fucking balling like he, a motherfucker. He trying to go out with a bang because he's he's fucking out of here. Oh damn! Just, <laughs> okay, last time we talked about this, you was on the fence. <laughs> last time I was on the fence, I was kind of in denial mostly because you know I know, you, you I know, know I love that nigga, man. I love him. You going though? Just get you a Knicks jersey. You cool? Ugh. I can never. <laughs> I can Shout out to Will because he's gonna be happy as fuck in uh, July, July when this nigga signed with the Knicks. <laughs> oh, drunk Will? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, fuck, as a Raider fan, a Yankee fan, and a Knicks fan. You'd think he's from New York. Nope, he's from here. <laughs> yeah, and nah, he's from like seven blocks away from here. KD is just basically uh, improving his legacy. That's all. Like this one, I mean, he's already ruined it a little bit. So yeah, you can you can you can go with that. I don't, you know. Bro, he go to the Knicks. He's I'm, a rap. I'm biased on that one because he came to my team. I can't yeah. really talk about it. But I mean. He he is really, he's about to show the he's about to have one of the greatest postseason performances though when it's all said and done this year. Oh, well, I mean you say that now, but we got you know the most two important series are coming up here. I mean, I hope I hope it's Portland because I want to see Dane get close. Oh shit! Know? If they play Portland, it's a sweep. They if we play Denver, it's a sweep. sweep. Hey, but hold on, I'll Denver can't touch though. us. He's still in the league, right? Aminu. He don't be doing nothing. Are you crazy? He had one good Did game you watch against the last OKC. Game? He had one game against This last OKC. game he was killing. Was he? Yes. On both sides, bro. He killed me, Alpha Rook is the man. He's just so inconsistent. I can't take it. Shout out to Alpha Rook. <laughs> I can't take it, That's man. my dude. Him and Luke Rashard Umba Mute. <laughs> my African brothers. <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk about the Rockets now. That's what the Warriors are playing. And they usually... You know, they have an interesting series. The first two games was uh, fucking weird because it was a whole lot of Rockets trying to get help. Oh, they weren't even trying to play basketball. He was just like, man, the, give us the fouls. Just throwing the hips. Give us the fouls. And a couple of them times, like... They did miss. Right? A couple of them was like, all right, that kind of is a foul now in 2000. It kind of wasn't even they missed them. I think the refs got together and said, look, I'm not calling this shit. Because <laughs> probably it was about three of them. It was like, hold on. You want this smoke? I don't want. I don't even. Uh-uh. We're not. Nope. Re- they just not rewarding the flopping. Nope. They're not rewarding it, and it's it's showing this season, this yeah. series, and I love it. You know, what I mean, the last the last two games have been called really tight, really good. You know, but I mean, I feel like the Rockets are so obvious with they with they trying to get the foul, especially yeah. James Harden. James That's Harden's whole right. game is this is whole game foul me. I just read an article. That's his whole game. But like, also, like he has the game. That he can still make shots with that. Like, it's like it's how he trains. It's like it's so hard. Like you could go back in like twenty years and like ask Reggie Miller, like, bro, how hard is it to try to get the foul and still mm-hmm. shoot like you're trying to make the shot? That shit's impossible. Really? That nigga has he's sculpted his game bro. around being <laughs> able to still score, shoot efficiently, and still and get fired. Throw his whole body out of fucking like, way. It, it's fucking crazy. It's insane. But, yeah, the refs, uh, they ain't really having that shit, at least nah. in these first three games. Now, nope. tonight, I don't know. I mean, after after he got slapped up in the eye, he, he just stopped fucking around. He's, I'm just going to go to the basket. I'm just going to shoot. I you thought know. it was bullshit at first. I saw him last game. I was like, ooh, this nigga shit is. He really oh, got yeah. He got the Terminator. Yeah, he got. He's like Kano, bro. He like his whole shit over here is <laughs> all purple. <laughs> and Draymond slapped him again the other game, too, bro. Just, yeah, Draymond ain't gonna we'll, stop. He might kick him in the dick tonight, nah, man. He let's don't bring do that no more. Let's bring the dick kick stop back. Stop bringing up old shit. Let's bring he the dick do kick anymore, back, okay? okay? <laughs> it was four years ago. Jesus. That was not four years ago. Four seasons ago. That was not four seasons ago. <laughs> <laughs> It was two seasons ago. Whatever. That was the seventy three and nine. And it was season, actually right? he, it was carryover from the other season. He he did yeah. like five dick kicks within two years. I didn't see it. I don't remember it. He didn't okay, see it. See. That's uh-huh. cool. Melvin Seal saw it. Shout out to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and in case y'all didn't notice, Jerry's room, we got new furniture yeah, in this shit. bitch. It's a it's a little chair over there. We got a little cute pillow. It's a cute pillow over here, the nice little chair. New couch. And got I don't see no semen stains. All because OG Melvin Seals was covered in tag. I think what happened is the podcast, we, we put that shit out there that it was cum stains all over the couch. <laughs> you know, and I'm hashtagging, you know, Warfield, hashtag, you know, who the fuck we... <laughs> somebody saw... I think Melvin Seals is a, a fan. He must be watching. He was like, That's hey, it. bro, I'm coming on motherfucking May 4th. 
I need some new shit up in here. They, they even got the tag still in this bitch. Yeah, this shit nice. It's nice though. It's a little low. Like I had to hella adjust. If y'all can't tell, the camera is like hella pointing down. Because we sitting like, <laughs> this is definitely Ikea furniture. <laughs> It's low to the ground. This is Asian <laughs> status. But, you know, fuck it, you know? <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go into something else that's uh, near and dear to both of our hearts. We're going to talk about Dame Lillard. East Oakland Dame, baby. Oh, man, it's great to see him perform like this this year. Once again, I'm going to zoom in right here. You can't show, can't see. This was like the greatest shit in history of the playoffs. <laughs> for you. It was so good to see him bust Rus Nigga. Westbrook ass. Jordan ain't never pulled that one. Because everybody knew what was going to happen and couldn't nobody stop it. Paul George, one of the best defenders in the he league. He was a bad champ. Shit, he couldn't do a motherfucking thing, no. boy. He dribbled that clock out, looked up, three seconds, stepped back from goddamn Afghanistan and was like... That was... that was It kind of gave me goosebumps. And then that was his face. I still get Nigga, goosebumps. that shit was crazy. And like... It was like the only shot that is better than that to me is still when uh, Steph hit it on OKC three, uh, three, four years ago. But other than that, this shot right here. But was that the playoffs? No, it wasn't the playoffs. Okay, that yeah. Playoffs. See, I'm so yeah, like this is a guy a little but you more know, he, clout. Remember he did that to Houston. Uh, Damn, his first time. I think that was his first time in the playoffs. Houston the still had. Uh, when was that? How long ago was that? That had to be about. That might have been four years ago too. Was it the thing? Was, five, five years ago. It was five years this ago. ended everything. Yeah. This one shot ended the game, ended the series. Russell Westbrook probably ain't got it. He, I think this might have ended his whole. This is, might yeah. be it for him. He'll still play. Yeah, he'll still play. But like, I bet you, I bet you. Uh, what's their uh, GM name? Sam Presti. Sam Presti yeah. probably like, bro. What the fuck we gonna do now? Yeah. Cause KD gone. I ain't trying to pay no luxury tax. He still got PG. You know? We got PG. Like, can we get something for Westbrook? Because he's still doing the same stupid shit. Right. And he was he was doing all that barking all game long. I mean, all series all long. All series. He and told, Dame was like, man, I ain't got time for that shit, He bro. told, remember, he told, he told, he was talking shit to, in the regular season. Like, man, I've been busting his ass for years. Exactly. And then he shut him the fuck up. And Dame had an interview the night before that shit. He was like, man, you don't rock the baby on that. Mm -mm. No. And what did he come out? And this was his face the whole fucking game. He ain't, he ain't doing no celebrating. No. He just busting your ass he, and moving on, bro. <laughs> you got a long summer ahead of you. For probably. real. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck Russell, man. They need to try to get something for him. What can you get, though? I don't know. You can get a lot. You ain't going to get I mean, you, you ain't going to get, get what he's supposed to be, mm -mm. you know, for the same thing. It's not happening. It, it, yeah, you ain't about to get a, 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 a transformer, not transformer, but like a a franchise changing he, situation. The thing is about Russ though is that his game is not meant to last. No, it's not gonna last. Iverson's game wasn't meant to last. Yeah, it, 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 he's gonna go in that direction. It's gonna, he's gonna fall off, and it's gonna be bad when you start falling off because he's already missing a ton of shots. His shooting percentage is terrible. It, 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 it is. It, this year was worse than like it's been like the last three or four years. Right. And you ain't got to do shit. You got Paul George on your team. Like you can d defer. Like he's best when he's trying to attack the basket right. and kick the ball out. Exactly. But he be like, oh, oh, it's my turn. Let me get a shot. Let me get a shot. Right. Get a shot. Kind of like you niggas. You want to pull up. You niggas all make. Let shots. me grab this rebound, run down the court before everybody else, and shoot a three pointer. Yeah. We'll see. And it's not going to cut it, man. I think Preston's going to have to get rid of his ass. Mm. They love him, though. That's fine. I mean, they they, Oklahoma him. ain't got nothing else. Exactly. That's why I think he stays there. They need to go back to fucking uh, Seattle. What's up with the Supersonics, <laughs> though? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. So, uh, you know what's fuck that? Fuck the Lakers. But at the same time, it's so funny to talk about them. Gonna get oh, man. That. It's a shit show, man. Yeah. It's not the, uh, it's not the uh, Lake Show. It's not the... Uh, what they used to call them? The... Uh, just showtime. Showtime. None of that. Nah, Only show is going on is a shit show. And it, it, it's just so hard to see. Because they were a playoff team before Brian tore his shit. Remember they came, like fourth seed? They least? came to Oakland. They killed us. They killed us. They was playing nice. And yeah. LeBron got injured. Everybody else got injured. LeBron got injured. And then the whole Anthony Davis fiasco. That's that's what really made them look terrible. Made Brian look terrible. Made everybody look bad. Clutch sports. All them people. And then 
next season, bro, it's not going to get better. Oh, no. It's not even better. Because I mean, because what? Brandon Ingram, he got blood clots. He, they said he's good now. Shit, they said Chris Boss was good three times. I hope and I and I hope I hope he is, but you never know. We got a we got a gnat in this bitch. <laughs> he Brandon went to Fournette's. Ingram, Brandon Ingram's ceiling is high, man. Yeah, his ceiling is high. If he can fucking get the clock going, uh he got that D Van Thrombosis happening. I think it's over with. That's what they said. They, they like they said they said he's clear and they they haven't said anything since. So. I can't remember a situation ever where somebody had it and that shit didn't reoccur though. I don't know. I know, right? Just hope it don't come back. I Other mean, than him, no. Lonzo's fucked. Because not only is he, he wasn't great on the court, now he got off field, I mean, off field, off court issues. Lonzo, uh, Lonzo can't coexist with LeBron. He just can't. Nah, so same thing with Rondo. It was yeah. retarded if I have all three of them on the same team at the same time. Right. No, nah, they all pretty much kind of play the same. Except right. one of them can kind of shoot sometimes. <sighs> Man. Who, LeBron? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, just make sure. Because what the niggas? <laughs> nah. Dude, no, 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 no. Lazo needs to go to Phoenix, I think. Somebody got to go to Phoenix. got to go. But the same thing is like, you can't get, you're not getting a first round pick and you're not getting a mm. decent player for him. So you almost have to just wash that whole second pick away. Yeah. They could have had De'Aaron Fox. They could have had De'Aaron Fox. It would have been I a whole him. different ball game. I've been watching this since 10th grade, man. He is Kings, so baby. good, bro. Kangs. He's gonna be. He's gonna be an all star. He's man. Yeah. Well. Soon. I mean, well, it's they hard. They got to a fucking win. win yeah, for it's, one. It's hard. Because I, I think Buddy damn near should have been almost an all star. And <sighs> shit, who they throw up in there? They threw uh, who Russell Westbrook? Yeah. They, Get the he's, fuck out. He's of here. a fan favorite though. Yeah, but he was on the bench. He didn't. Start. Oh, he was. Huh? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They gave him the spot. The buddy was shooting. It was having 21 points on a team that was an eighth seed. I say. I say Westbrook got about maybe another year. Coach is open for him. Man, he might <laughs> have another year in OKC. They need to ship his ass. I mean, get him. Get him away now. While he still got triple double stats. Yeah, There's some dim ass gene. Well, Eddie er, Ernie Grunfield's gone, so <laughs> he probably like, yeah, he's a great two guard. He'll comp like. Take 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 Bradley Bill right now, fuck it. <laughs> I wish, but they was I, uh, who was that talking? About? I think I was watching. Uh, I'm not watching. Listening to Bomani talk about that. He was saying go get Bradley Bill for the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, do what you can do. Yeah, he's a shooter. He can get his own shot. Like they, the Wizards obviously got to get rid of that nigga because they can't get rid of John, John Wall. You can't. He's the has so, the worst contract in history. They got they, they, <laughs> they got to get something back. And the thing is, bro. How many free agents are going to come to the Lakers now? Because you know Kawhi. I, I know Kawhi's not coming. There's a lot of people don't want to play with LeBron. Man, but what? I, I don't think nobody knows what Kawhi wants, though. Even Serge Ibaka don't know. He's trying right. to get a nigga bull dick pizza. I mean, unless... I mean, unless... It, it depends how far they get. Because they just won last night. They tied up the series. If they can get pretty far, he might stay. He ain't staying. Yeah, you're right. But I just, as I just told you... Uh, <laughs> Kyle Lowry's there for two more years. No, they not. Go. Uh, yeah, he's out. He's go. out. I think he wants to go. I think he'll come to the Clippers, man. Clippers have a good cap situation. They got a cool young core. They still got Doc Rivers, though. I feel like that might scare a motherfucker off. They signed Doc Rivers to a long term deal not too long ago. That's what I'm saying. You still you think so? Yeah. Doc's not that bad of a coach. Man, who the man? fuck joins Doc Rivers? They trade for motherfuckers. I'm like, man, I, I got to go play for Doc, man. <laughs> no. God. Hell, nah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anything could happen with that shit. Anthony Davis, the the Pelicans just don't want to trade him to the Lakers. Yeah, they don't. But also, he don't want to go to the Celtics. No. But I don't So he's going to have another year in purgatory. Hey, you heard Danny Angels had a heart attack? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fucked up. He ain't even that old. Man, he was playing basketball in the nineties, in the mid nineties too. Wasn't yeah, he? he was with Phoenix. He was Phoenix when the mid nineties. Yeah. yeah, and he already about to die. God damn, man, it's just stressful. He's stressed out because he knows his team is about to be like they're already bad. Yeah, they're not good. And Kawhi's and going. I'm not Kawhi. Kyrie's, Kyrie's going. leaving. Yeah, and Gordon then, Hayward sucks. Jalen Brown's trash. They got, all they got is Tatum at this Al, point. Al Horford's going to opt in for hella millions. Of course he is. And it's going to fuck your cap situation up more. Yep. And he's stressed out. <laughs> he's like, all oh, this racism in this city. I can't get no niggas to come. <laughs> like, fucking, 
It's like Durant ain't coming and here. He Kyrie's leaving. He it's was a wrap. I mean, we applauded him for the last two, three seasons of having all the draft picks. And, yeah, he got picks. And getting close to the uh, to the championship. That's all he can do is pick a nigga because ain't gonna nigga nigga gonna <laughs> pick him. Okay. <laughs> it's a wrap. Bruh. Sorry, Danny Ainge. But uh, so with the Lakers specifically, uh, for people who don't know. Who are still listening to this? That who didn't be like, oh my god, sports! I'm getting the fuck out of here. Right. So this nigga, um, Magic Johnson. You ever heard of him? Of course you have. Yeah, he uh, contracted AIDS. <laughs> the first nigga in history. HIV. 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 To to, okay. to rid himself of the HIV. Right. He got that shit in '92, or announced it in '92. You probably, if he really had it, he had, he had to be the fall guy, man. Yeah, he sold his soul, and they, you know, they paid him handsomely. Hey, we ain't okay. going there, okay? All right. Okay, all right. Uh, if you do that, you got to forget about it. But, uh, <laughs> and we ain't got no more cups. We drink out the bottle from now. Fuck it. Fuck but um, yeah. So Magic what was that two seasons ago? Yeah. After he uh bought into the Dodgers. What the hell? I do got a cup just in case, though. Right, whatever. <laughs> uh. So Magic, a couple years ago, like four, year, four, year, four or five years ago, the, the Dodgers offered him a, a, a piece of the pie. 50 mil. He dropped 50 mil. He dropped 50 million in there. That's not a lot of money for Magic, and that's not a lot of money to own a baseball team, but he was like the face of the team for like three or four <laughs> he years. He put it out as cup holder. Here you go. Definitely. <laughs> he was like, hold on, how much? Shit, I got this on the debit card. What's that? <laughs> Swipe. Really? So he was the Dodger, Dodgers owner and shit, and Dodgers like that shit went good. Like he was the face of the team. He don't know shit about baseball, but you know he's magic. He's magic. He got he's hella LA. money. He's Los Angeles. He's Los day. Angeles. He's smiling like a motherfucker. He's like, man, I fucked every bitch in this in the city. Come on, <laughs> I'm good, right? So the Lakers are like, hey, we could do that shit too. Let's make him the fucking president of all basketball, basketball operations. operations. And he's like, hell yeah, right? But. <laughs> It's one thing to be the face and the and the owner of a team, cause you ain't got to do shit. It's one thing to be the vice president. He got to like go scout people. He got to show up at the office. Man, he can't just be you know. I think magic and I think this it would have been a uh, his legs. He would have been like top five black people ever if he brought the Lakers back. That was oh, his, yeah. I think that was his goal. I'm I'm gonna be the reason. <laughs> Why the Lakers are back. And he's still young. He could have sat around for 15 years collecting this money if he just showed up to fucking work. But right. no. So what happened with Magic is he got mad that the NBA was scolding him because he couldn't be talking to every player and, and interacting he was tampering with shit. every player. That's called tampering. Now, I think Magic is too dumb to even know <laughs> that he was tampering. I think he found out. He was like, who? Huh? You telling me I can't go to Philadelphia and work out with Ben Simmons? No, nigga. Are you crazy? <laughs> He's crazy. No, you can't go fuck with him. He's on another team. Ben you Simmons have your own players. That's represented by Clutch Sports. Of course. Clutch Sports ain't going nowhere. No. They're they going to be doing this shit for a while. <laughs> when you let LeBron in the door, he's bringing them boys with him. Yeah, all goddamn day. right. So, also, Magic had a situation with uh, Paul George. I think this is the reason why Paul drove went to Oakland, OKC. I think they bet was like, nah, we can't, we can't yeah, do it. Yeah, because Magic he made it hot. On, Magic was on what? Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, and with all that winking, I and think that was, was like, Kimmel <laughs> talking about Paul George. Like, dude, you can't talk about players that ain't yours. Talk. Just say no comment. Say he's a great player. He's a great kid. I know him personally, but hey, I can't speak on. You that. can't talk. That's all he had to say. But Magic is too stupid to just shut the fuck up. <laughs> we gonna get him here, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, we got him. <laughs> He gonna be here. He from here. No, Magic also is not the brightest man in the world. You know, he's from uh, what is that? Uh, Lansing, Michigan. Lansing. I almost said Lansing. Well, we, I mean, we, I right, look. I don't want to stomp on Magic so bad. All right, but I do. <laughs> well, you know, go ahead. It's your show. Yeah, damn it. We're gonna, we're gonna stomp on this nigga. He, he's rich as fuck. He, I mean, me stomping on him ain't gonna do nothing to him. He fine. So his ass. Uh, what was that like? Fucking the last day of the season or, or some shit. Yeah. Like a day or two before the season. On a random game, he just pops up and says, Hey, everybody in the media, gather around. <laughs> and this was during the fucking NBA, NFL draft, wasn't it? It might have been before that. Something else was going on that was hella big that he kind of just like I think it was before that. Took over. Right. Whatever the case, he goes, Hey, I'm done. 
I'm out of here. <laughs> they said, what the fuck you mean? Uh, I ain't, I, this ain't for me. I'm not going to be here anymore. <laughs> I, he's like, I, I can't tweet about sports no more. The NBA being mean to me. Just all a bunch of stupid shit. And so they're like, hold on, did you tell your boss? He's like, she know now. <laughs> he's like, hold on, didn't, you, didn't y'all have a meeting yesterday? Show sure did. That's one of the best ways to quit, man. And like, so they asked him something. I don't even remember what the fucking asked him. It's, it's a meme now. And he was like. I ain't gonna be here. I ain't gonna be here. <laughs> so he just dipped the fuck out and had like a four hour interview. I'm telling you, man, he he didn't give a fuck. The season was that bad that he just said, "I'm better off being at home with my wife." And what's crazy is he's had way worse seasons. When he when, when his ass came back in '97, yeah, big fat magic. <laughs> it was five years after he retired. He had been a coach for a couple of years too. He did all kind of he shit. Did hell of shit really? He came back like two hundred and eighty pounds, played for like thirty games. <laughs> Try to post people up with no jump shot. Like that shit was awful. It's like, bro, you you all the games gone, dog. <laughs> what they say this now? was way worse than Jordan coming back. <laughs> you hate to see it. Yeah. <laughs> you hate to see so it. He, he, uh, way worse than Jordan. Jordan was balling. That was the all time low. Who for the Wizards? For a forty five year old man, he was getting it in, bro. Oh shit. Don't talk it, don't 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 start. Come don't on, you, bro. Do not start. What, what what he didn't smell the playoffs. He didn't have to. He's like, you know what? His team was bad. That's not his fault. He was he was still averaging what, twenty two points? I'm an executive. I'm a he, draft cool. Bro, he Kwame still, Brown. He was still glass and then come back to play with Kwame Brown. He, he, man, that, I don't care. He that was bold. one fucking play. At 45 years For old, two though, years. smooth. 45. He played horrible. He shot horrible. His percentage was trash. <laughs> Jordan was never a great shooter, and he shot even worse then. I think it was like 41%. It was bad. He fucked up. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't smell the playoffs. But also, Magic was way worse than that when he came back. So, Magic's had worse. Like... He had assets. They couldn't move him. They couldn't acquire who they wanted to because of Dell Demps. They just wanted one guy. They, they, he. And, uh, yeah. They, I mean, they still might get him a few years from now. Two but, years. <laughs> they're going to get him. But LeBron will be uh, like that, right? An injury where he really was like out, out. And then at the same time, we know he healed up, but he still wanted to sit out a little longer. Of course. You know? I mean, even the Miami days, like, it was like, oh man, ooh, hamstrings not doing so good. It's February. I'll be back in two weeks. And you know, he gone for two weeks and they come back with a whole new team. <laughs> but this time he was gone for like two months. Bro, he was out. And uh during those two months, the little niggas couldn't they couldn't produce. I, I don't know what that I don't And everybody know, else got injured. I don't know what the Lonzo's fuck. Lonzo's knee was. gone. Didn't Kuzma fuck an ankle up? Uh, Kuzma did something. Calf or something. Everybody missed time. In that. Kuzma was gone. Lonzo was gone. Ingram, he got hurt too. Like, Brandon Ingram, ain't, he, his blood ain't flowing no more. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So they had Lance, Steven, Lance Stevenson and goddamn Lance Rondo. Lance Stevenson and the motherfucking guitar. Back then he was... <laughs> <laughs> that's my man. It's, yeah. He was getting it, baby. When you ask whose man's is that, point this nigga's direction. Even if you're in New York, just point... Toward the sun, okay? <laughs> when it's setting. That's Jews and man's. It's not who, nobody else man's. Who's going to sign him next season? That's what I want to know. <laughs> he got a lot of basketball What, they get like four million or something? Probably four or five million. He got a lot of she, basketball left. Who the fuck is signing Like, for him? one thing, who... Who, like... They could have gave him the... What's the what's the veteran minimum? I don't know. They could have gave him... The, what's, they could have given him nothing. The mid, I, did, was he the mid level exception? No, he that was, was uh, Javale McGee. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They got Javale McGee. Oh, they got Lance Stevenson. They went and got Rondo. I think they gave Rondo like nine million. They had to. They gave uh. uh they gave KCP twelve. Don't they gave that. him twelve motherfucking million. You know they had why? Nobody bidding against him. You know he's clutch. He's clutch sports. They got to take care of your people, baby. <laughs> that was Rich Paul. Like, hey, how much can we get? Cause I'm taking, cause I'm getting fifteen percent. I'm so. gonna get it, whatever he's going to Brown's get. Like, Nigga. <laughs> Brown's like, nigga. Brown, I thought we was in this together. Nope, nope. We in it, but not right now, <laughs> not today. <laughs> so who else we gonna get? Shit, anybody else coming here? Bro, it's going I want. I can't wait till free agency starts, and to see everybody that they think the Lakers are gonna get not go. Kimba, I mean, Kimba Walker. Oh, they could definitely get Kimba. You are gonna get Kimba Walker? But. <sighs> And you're going to get... Because I mean, Jordan's not giving him that money. Jordan's no. never paid luxury tax. And he Hell. never will. <laughs> Fuck no. Nope. Maybe Chris Middleton? <laughs> Is he a free agent? He's going to be a free agent. Yeah, he gone. You think so? 
They're not going. They're not. Nah. They're not. Nah. The Bucks don't have mm-hmm. that type. Of, they, they ain't got it like that. Now they don't have no money like they can't that. Throw you a right? fucking, they, they can't throw the boat at him. But I mean, somebody's going to pay him because he was the All Star. Oh yeah, season. somebody is definitely. Gonna He's going to get fucking paid. The question is, when his shit might his shit might go a little long. Yeah. Like how the baseball contracts were going to like almost the beginning of the season. <laughs> he might be sitting there like, come on, bro. Somebody's got to pay me. So, somebody, I'm sitting here. I'm an all star, goddammit. <laughs> Somebody's going to pay you, man. He's going to get about 200. All right, speaking of all stars, we're talking about MVPs now, nigga. MVP. It's only one. Giannis. It's only one. And uh, I, I'm not talking about Harden. It's Giannis. So before we get into this, you know how they, uh, they used to introduce the MVP right about now? Really, I thought it was the East, like the conference finals, mm-hmm. semifinals, semifinals. Because they don't know who the fuck gonna make it to the. They might not make it. Right. Usually by right now. I think I saw something there. Something about how because uh, Derrick Rose's uh, anniversary from when he won it was like three or four days ago. Okay, okay. So they usually right about now. They used to during the game, right before the game, they would announce it. They'd have a press conference. You the real MVP. Yeah. <laughs> that type of shit, and you go out on the court and you That's, raise your MVP that trophy. That still gets me. All that shit. Now they got a fucking award show to do at the end of the year. That's it. I hate and that. And supposedly, everybody who votes for this shit, they vote at the end of the regular season, which is supposed yeah. to be a regular season award. But yeah. I really want to know how how true is that? Let's say Giannis fucking lost in the first round again. They're not giving the MVP to the first round dropout. Well, when Steph won that first one. I think I think that was some regular season shit. Oh no, I believe it's it's it's, it's regular season. But I'm saying though, like some of that shit, it just feels like it's a little bit of postseason, especially bit. now with this fucking uh, now with this like, award show. Now shit. I think it is for yeah. sure. But they all supposed to have like I've heard like all kind of sports writers. Oh yeah, he's on my he's on my vote. He's on my vote. He's on my vote. like because they're supposed to turn it in at the end of the season. But it's yeah. like, Man. what if Harden was to go? To the championship, and Giannis loses this series. They're not giving. Come on, bro. They're not giving Giannis no motherfucking MVP award. Yeah, I'd hate to see that because Giannis. This is Giannis's award. But yeah, I said this shit like 15 episodes ago. I bet that nigga five on motherfucking wax. <laughs> I said you had a fucking feel, bro. It's gonna be Giannis. <laughs> Giannis. I'm like LeBron's going out the conference. Yep. He can ball the fuck out. Nobody stopped him. No, it, it, Kawhi was He's there. only getting better. Yeah. He takes his off season serious. This motherfucker to put on like twenty pounds every year. Bro, he's huge. I remember he was like he was. Bro, he looked like me when he's rookie. Now he looked like motherfucking he's fucking one of them uh, Thanos, nigga. Thanos. Yeah, for okay. real. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is humongous <laughs> and still hella fast. And now he got a little bit of a jump shot. Yeah, he, bro, he, he was busting. He was busting their ass. I was looking at the box scores and I'm like, hold on, this nigga made three threes. They clawed the lane up. He said, all right, yank. And was making the motherfuckers. He going to tear their ass up tonight, too. I can't wait. And he's still, what, 23? 22, 23? No, he's lower than that. Nah, he, come on, put the phone out. We're going to check it right now. I'm going to talk about it while he check it, though. Because uh, the Bucks right now are playing the Boston Celtics, who were supposed to be oh, wait a everybody's darling and everything. But uh, what's that? 25. 25. He'll be, nope, he'll be 24. He'll be 25 in he'll December. He'll be 25 in December. Yeah, he's just 20 24, fucking bro. four years old. That means he got four more years it, bro, to get better. When his and contract then four is more up, years of prime level. He'll be 26 when his contract is up. He got almost, oh, he got man. seven or eight more years of greatness. This is amazing. This is That's what I'm amazing. saying. This month, if he can learn how to shoot. He might average 50 points a game. Jeez. He ain't going to want to, though. So he'll probably average like right. 35 points a game and like <laughs> right. 20 assists. They're going to let Chris Middleton walk. because Oh, he going. <laughs> Giannis is going to score double. <laughs> exactly. He's going. We we'll just bet the house on Giannis. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a crazy so he's much, a, he, bro. This year, he's Chris Middleton's an actual unrestricted free agent? I don't know if he's not restricted, but I'm trying to think like I, if, if they can trade his ass at, at, at all, I, I, if they can get anything for him. Because I always got, I always got the the thing. Like he, so yeah, the boss said exposed him and everybody's sweetheart because it's Boston and you know whatever the fuck. I don't want to get too uh, deep into that. But uh, the Bucks almost beat their ass last year. They won seven game series, and this year they busting they fucking ass. So Chris Middleton right now is getting 13 million. He'll get 13 million next year, but he got opt out. 
He's gonna he's gonna opt out at thirteen million. Okay, Absolutely. definitely. Yeah, he yeah, yeah yeah. So he'll he'll, he'll be making twenty five million at least next year. The problem is they got to air Bledsoe for hella years. That's who's going to soak up the goddamn. Yeah, but I mean they kind of had to do that though. He had to. But how yeah. much is he making? He's making fifteen now. He made fifteen six, then sixteen eight, then eighteen, then nineteen. Like he's there. Yeah, but that's almost a bargain because you can't because you can't get nobody to sign there. No. Nah. All so, that. So what's somebody volunteer? You say yeah. Yep. Hold on, you gonna sign with us? Cool. Hey, Giannis, we trying. That's all we can do. We trying. That's all we can do. You, I mean, you got to do it yourself, but we're going to do as best we can to have motherfuckers helping you. So now I want to talk about the 76ers. 76ers? They shit, they, they shit's me. weird. They weird. They got uh, Ben Simmons, who is a beast. Who I was, Sometimes. I was talking mad shit about him in, in college because he you, couldn't You shoot. should talk shit about him now, too, because he is... I mean, but at the same time, like, I didn't think he'd be even this good. There's some games where he can't do anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And his game doesn't allow... Like, you you won't see any growth from this game. Like, you won't see him get a jump shot. No. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... Oh, I forgot who said it. He has a fucking knuckleball. Fucking Jared shot. Dudley said it. I hate Jared Dudley, too. But I hate that I have to fucking agree with oh, him. Jesus. Why are you hating on Jared? I hate Jared Dudley. I've always had Boston Jesus. College. He's a piece of shit. Okay, but... In the half court last setting, nigga with a headband, man. Come in, in the la- <laughs> in the half court setting, what can Ben Simmons do? Not a lot. Nothing. Hand the ball off and cut to the basket. <laughs> Sometimes that shit works. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. But as soon as it's a fast break, boy, you better watch the fuck out. He going to the motherfucking rim, boy. The thing about Philly, man, Philly got matchup problems. Like they, they don't like you can't match up against them. They got health problems too, and we're gonna forget about it. And B. Go ahead, keep talking, guys. Yeah, no, MB, he just got an illness. I think he, I don't even know if he's gonna play the next game. But I gotta find me. Yeah, uh, you gotta go get one. Talking, talking about. <laughs> I'm about to get a floor cup. MB, if he can't stay healthy, man, no. and then you got you got Jimmy Butler, who's great. Sometimes, I think just because on that team, you know, so many so many people have to touch that ball. But Jimmy's good, man. Jimmy's going next year, though. That might be one of the motherfuckers so, who actually go to the Lakers, though. So, no. I think they will let Tobias Harris walk. That's so stupid. But they, but Tobias Harris doesn't stay on nobody's Cheers. team. Cheers. Yeah, but at the same time, like, that motherfucker good. He's good. Yes. He's been good since Orlando. He's just one of those guys that that you don't you don't commit. You, you can't commit to him. Why can't you? Because he'll never be like an all star. He's an all star this year, wasn't he? No. I could have swore he was an all star. No, he was in the West when the all star game. Remember he was he on the been all star? Never been an all star, bro. I can give you, I can show you. All right, well, he played like a goddamn. Oh, you're right. They were saying that he he, he was also a snub. He was snubbed. He was snubbed. I feel but like he should have, it should have been him and Buddy. Motherfuck. Russell Mother, Westbrook. Get, get off the Buddy train, bro. Are you crazy? I, I am crazy. He is the most improved player this year. And tell me he ain't. No. Have you not been watching basketball? Who's the most improved player? Pascal Siakam. Check this out. You scream again. <laughs> I'm mute. Because that was so I'm fucking mute. outlandish. No, no, no. He is not. Pascal Siakam. No, just he plays for, for a better team? Look at the numbers, dog. Look at the numbers. Fuck the numbers. I feel like even last year he could have even been thought about. We're, not talking, we're talking about this season. Pascal Siakam has won that shit by Hell no. a landslide, Dexter. No. Check this out, people. You got me I mad know. I call you by your first name. Dexter, you're tripping. I am always Dexter. I was born Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go look up Pascal Siakam. Of course, you never heard of him because he ain't shit. S-I-A-K-H-A-M. And you go look up Buddy Hill. K-H-A-M. Siakam. Bahamas finest. That nigga come from the blue water, baby. Oh, Horse teeth. Praising God every day on Twitter. He but does. that motherfucker that's, that's bust. All good and well. He was busting ass this you, year you lost your mind Sheet. i'm gonna leave you this podcast you're crazy you ain't going nowhere <laughs> <laughs> you're I will, crazy i have melvin seals come get your ass he's right oh. outside the door no it's buddy hill by a landslide not even close but um what are we talking about oh uh tobias harris tobias harris i feel like is better it better than jimmy butler because tobias harris is i feel like he's fresher he ain't had all the bullshit People that like Jimmy to do Butler. this, and they always forget. 
there's two sides of a basketball and you got to play defense. Yeah, but Jimmy Butler's defense ain't been that great recently. You, you, you talking about Bulls, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> he ain't, they ain't the same Jimmy Butler no I more. I mean, it, take, it still takes a team to play defense, but yeah. I think they – they they yeah. should be better defensively because they're so long, but I don't know what the fuck. I think that's the coaches. Well, and B plays lazy. Yeah, but he still run, he still protects. And he's the fuck also out the rim. injury all the time. He's all yeah. He still protects the fucking rim. You know what I mean? And then, I don't know, man. Philly should be better than what they are. Though. All right, who you think going to the Eastern Conference Finals? <sighs> I still got Giannis. Me too. I, I think Giannis. I think it's Warriors Bucks. And it's gonna be maybe a five or six game series. Yeah, it's maybe seven. I think. I think nah. Because when you gotta times. you gotta remember when they came to play us, they beat the brakes off of us. Yeah, that was also the regular season. It was regular season, but Steph doesn't perform as well as he does in the playoffs, and I think they also have a great bench. Who's gonna guard Kevin Durant on the Bucks? Giannis is not going to spend his whole nah. fucking game worrying about Kevin Durant. Nah. He will in the fourth quarter probably, but even then you like you can't you can't expect him to guard him the whole fucking fourth. But then who's the fuck is going to guard Giannis? Nobody. But at the same time, Giannis ain't going to score forty points a game. He ain't, he hasn't got to that point yet where he's like. He got his consistent go-to spots happen, like Kevin Durant. It might happen. Kevin Durant got like seven spots. He can just hit his foot on it. And he, he ain't got it. Oh, go on. Yeah. Giannis ain't got that yet. He ain't got the offensive game yet. I got a piss. How bad? The beard and the finette fucking. I said, how bad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got. You can stop it. We can got 10 minutes. Edit some shit? Nope. We got 10 minutes. Okay. Can you do right, 10? I can do 10. All right, we're going we're gonna to crush through this shit. Barely. Whatever. Don't piss on yourself, though. All right, <laughs> NFL draft. My Seahawks have four picks going in and turn that shit into eight. Y'all got the boy, man. And we got, what's that nigga named? Metcalf. DK. DK Metcalf. Now, I saw DK. his ass on all the little videos. Free route DK, man. Yeah, but that motherfucker, uh, it's going to work. He looks like Thanos. He really look like Thanos. Yeah, that's Thanos. He really look like that. Like, yeah, he ain't Thanos. got no fat. Like, bro, like, how do you even... He got to eat, like, a candy bar every, like, half an hour or something. He ain't got no reserves. Bruh. But he can't run no routes, though. So He can't run, but he he can do what Russell Westbrook... Excuse me. Russell, I'm high in the motherfucker. He high. Off that Russell first Russell Wilson. <laughs> Needs him to do exactly. When Russell Wilson does the play action and exactly. gets the scramble. He gonna scramble DK around. Will be open. He gonna be open, and he big enough to body a motherfucking couple of motherfuckers off and catch that and shit. And he can jump higher than the motherfucker. Yeah, all but, his measurable. But also, Doug Baldwin can't play ba- can't play football no more. Yeah, I know that. So that's sad. We got uh, Tyler Lockett and now DK Metcalf and Nasty. But I don't yeah. know if you remember the first time I was here. That's what happens when you play football. Oh, yeah, of course. You shouldn't be playing. Nope. But Kyler Murray, dumbass. <laughs> all right, fifteen million. So, uh, you want to talk about your Raiders at all? First of all, I told you they're not my Raiders anymore. Mm, they're, John's, they're John Gruden's Raiders. That narcotic going, huh? okay? You off that narcotic? And then who you got then? Who, okay, who so I'm, 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 I'm gonna talk to you. So we made the trade for AB, and I'm like, you know what? If only we had a quarterback to throw to him, I might, I might fuck with him. But then they let Jared Cook go. That's what did it for you. That's Jared what did Cook? it for me. Jared Cook was the man, bro. He made the, he made a Pro Bowl because he was always fucking open. You know your your quarterback has a problem throwing the open receivers. He was hitting Jared Cook ass. Huh? Yeah, we get it. Oh, lipstick. Um, they got lipstick coming to party. Fuck you. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, man. I don't know what the fuck Gruden is doing, and who who we got? Uh, Mike Mayock as a, as a GM. Is really? Yeah. Shut the fuck. He hired my. Oh God. No That's, they just they just they just doing stuff. Dude, did you see the first round pick? The first the, we had three. You see the first one? Yeah. He bro, he was supposed to go at the end of the draft, maybe early second. Seriously, bro. They are Clemson or something. Clemson uh, front four all got picked in in the. In the first round. Just because they Clemson first front four, right? Yeah. And you pick number four. You tell me they picked the wrong Clemson dude? 
They should have got the boy Josh Allen. That's what they should have got. They definitely got the wrong one. Mm. Well, that's Raiders for you. It's Raiders. John Gruden. You know, I mean, whatever. Good luck to him. I mean, y'all, y'all need a quarterback. They're too late. Reggie McKenzie loved them off that one year. A, a, a bunch of this. A bunch of 50-50 balls, bro. That's all he threw was 50-50 balls that got us to the playoffs. He played the Seahawks, and I watched the whole game snap for snap. And then I saw the fucking the, the field chart where he threw the ball. He threw the ball down the field past five yards one time. That's okay. sick. It, it, it's one ridiculous. fucking time. It's fucking he ridiculous. is the fucking dump the ball down close like a motherfucker. All right. Uh, Bosa. Maga Bosa. What's his name? What's his first name? Nick. That's Nick Bosa. Nick. The other one's Joey Bosa. Joey. Joey killing. Joey's killing. Joey's a fucking beast. Joey just can't stay on the field. When he's on the field, he'll, he'll get to you. Nick ass supposed to be just as good. Right. But, but he's he, a racist. He also has injury problems too, but... Uh, is 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 Nick or Joey, is he racist too? They, they he, Joey, racist Joey shuts the fuck up. We don't know. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. If you're racist, shut the fuck up. Nobody would never know. Nick. Nick talked about Cap. Tom Brady. He don't tweet. Hey, and he also just tweeted that Black Panther was an awful movie, but it, it was I like never watched it, so hella it. long after it came out. And it, he says it's awful. We knew why he said it was awful. Because it's niggas in the fucking movie. Because, you know, black people how, loved it. How, how dare some superhero niggas pop up? Bro. And like, he, like he ain't never fucking said the He like, retreated Trump and, Trump and said, I love this man. He said Trump. He Trump, is Trump. Trump. <laughs> I love this man. All right, we got. You can't take that back. No, he tried to delete all the tweets. He deleted, man. We Guess screenshotted what? everything, bro. Nope. That shit's been there, it's, bro. It's a rasp. Right there. You know what else has been there? We're gonna talk about Kodak Black. He's why why you hate Kodak Black so much? Well, uh, uh, I mean, I don't really listen to him. I got like two songs. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, that was loud. That was terrible. Uh, my bad. Also, but he 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 be raping women. I mean, for one thing, we don't know if he's raping women or not. He has he's some allegations. For it. He has some allegations of of uh, of uh, sexual uh, issues, assaults, and shit. He's getting arrested. But a lot of our uh, black celebrities as well have that. I'm not saying he ain't doing it. I don't fucking know. I ain't been there. I, I got a lot of uh, issues with that nigga. But at the same time, he, he, he got he's some stupid. slap. He's he got stupid. some slap though. So this nigga, uh, he always had that fucking little uh, yeah. Pointy hair shit. Now I ain't from Florida, and we ain't got uh my nigga Darius on the podcast right now. I don't know about that Broward life or where where, where he from? Fucking High or some shit. He's he's from the ghetto. I know that. I think it Wherever was Broward. This from. I think it was Broward. Uh, they be having all them fucking crazy ass dreads. Palm Beach, yeah. This the, nigga the came through. Clots. I call them. There you go. <laughs> so this nigga <laughs> took the pointy shit and put the blonde on it. And he looked like Lisa Simpson. Look just <laughs> like Lisa Simpson. If you ever went to Great America back in the day, <laughs> I know I got I had a Bart Simpson one back back, back in the, when the head was plastic and the body was like plush. Yeah, that's how we used to do back in the day. They had a Lisa Simpson one when the head was like plastic and molded and solid, and the body was like you know right. loose and shit. He's fucked up. He looked just like Lisa Simpson <laughs> with the with the with the points. Right, he's, he's a clown. There's no way to put that shit. He's he a clown. Is. But at the same time. He got a couple slaps though. <laughs> couple. So now we're gonna talk about some Russian shit. We so told y'all we were talking about Russia, and goddamn it, we giving you Russia. Jew gonna hold his fucking piss in. You gotta do Ooh. it, man. Please, hold on. How I get rid of this shit? What? I don't want to pay for nothing. Fuck you. Look, man. Huh? You cool? We talk about the we talking about the whale. Yeah. The whale swam from Russia. He came as a beluga whale. He swam to a Norwegian port city. A white whale. And he had a strap on him that says property of Russia. Mil- the Russian nigga, Navy. He had a belt around like his like right about the neck area, right? It's a picture. It's a video right there. Look at this little nigga. Yeah. And they petting him and they shit. They petting him. They feeding him. And the Norwegians is like, where the fuck this whale come from? And they, and they inspect him. And his shit say St. Petersburg. And he ain't leaving. He's, He's not spying. leaving. He's been there for like a week or two. And then it just like uh, uh, my man Bamani said that shit on uh, Austin Powers. How <laughs> the, the motherfucker said put the put the lasers on the on the whales on the dolphins. Put the what? Put the lasers on the dolphins. On oh, what's that? What's that? At, 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 
like a weapon for the military. Oh, nigga, I, I, I never watched the. You never watched Rose of Powers? Nah. Uh, well, yeah, that, that it's coming. I also don't watch Game of Thrones either. I ain't got time for no dragons and shit. I'm a nigga from the hood. We ain't never had no dragons. We got a motherfucking. I saw a wolf in West Oakland one time. I saw a wolf in West Oakland. <laughs> okay. You seen a couple deers. That's it. In West Oakland? No, nah, I think it was North Oakland. Nah, I saw I saw a wolf walking down San Pablo. He was about this goddamn high. Okay, he was huge. We're not gonna talk about. So we got a beluga whale. Night walkers. Who I don't know what the fuck that means. They walk down San Pablo. Oh, night walker. I know it's a hooker walking down the stroll. Okay. So the, the, the beluga whale is spying. Right. But at the same time, two days later, nigga had a plane landed on, on fire. fire. Landed. On fire. Now, the reason why we had a podcast in two weeks is I was doing a little traveling. And my ass uh, went to SFO. TSA, ain't, they ain't cool over there. Hey, they're not. Not at all. They was like, ooh, nigga, come I here. I don't like flying outside. Come here, stuff. come here, nigga. It took me and my cousin, like you niggers, uh, and we wasn't even together. He he, he got pissed so bad he's screaming. <laughs> it was like you over there, you over, and it wasn't even together. We we separated purposely, and they still got you. And they got one nigga with a tie on too. They was swiping our hands and shit. I was like, what the fuck is this about? Yeah, it happens, random. man. He's like, it's, it's random. Random, bro. I was like, ain't shit random, nigga. That's the that's the best excuse you can use. It's random. I said, man, I'm gonna randomly fuck your ass up when I see you out here, bro. <laughs> I'm going to tap in with Jew. I'm going to find that motherfucker. I know his face. He's burnt in my yeah, motherfucking memory. That's it. We'll so 41 him. Russians were killed on this fucking plane that landed that's on fire. Wild, bro. Hella smoke out the bitch. It was on fire in the air and it in landed. In the air, landed. The pilot, man, he got a fro. He's way better than Sully. Way better than Sully. <laughs> Seriously. He landed the plane on fire. 37 survived, though. Like, I'm afraid to fly now, bro. I know this is Aeroflot. I've never heard of them before. They don't Never fly out of Oakland or Hell Oakland. no. Okay. That's some Russian shit. Well, it was one American on there who didn't make it. He tapping out. <laughs> Go pee in the fishbowl over there. Your dick won't make it on the podcast. We'll be fine. I'm joking. No, <laughs> don't piss in the sink, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, too. I'm not going to do that. All right. Shit. All right. We done. Because we are... Uh, we ain't done much. 57 minutes in. I asked the nigga we had to piss before. It's, oh, nah, I'm good. Hey, it's I'm before good. the shots came, baby. No, he had that much for net. Hey man, look, ain't got a piss. Ain't no spring chicken no more, all right? Ain't no spring Bladder chicken. don't roll like that. All right, patreoncom slash industry special. If you want to donate, pledge some money. I got some motherfucker. You ain't gonna get no money for nothing, goddamn. You can get your motherfucking not one of these, but you get your industry special shirt. We got hoodies coming. We got hats. Please just keep supporting. You know, support the. Black I'm gonna keep coming goddamn. back because goddamn obviously it. every time I'm on, I get the most views anyway. You he, hear me? Hey, he, the last one got all the views. That's what I'm talking about. I was like, what the fuck? Because I'm, you know. And motherfuckers be talking hella shit about the sports conversations, but that's what, we, that's what, that's what, we want. what y'all watching. So that's why he back, god damn you it. Know? And he got to piss on himself. You see his foot right here. He got you the hair back, so I'm fine. He going, I'm fine. ooh, I'm baby. Ooh, Let's shit. <laughs> Old Man Jew, Twitter, man. Tyler. Old Man Jew Anytime. on Twitter and talk right Instagram, back, too, right? Instagram, too. That's Old right. Old Man Jew. He going to talk back to you. I'm going to talk back to you. Smooth as eggs on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Industry special, Twitter, Snapchat. Instagram, Apple Podcasts, Industry Special, SoundCloud, YouTube, all that shit. Stitcher. Support it. Industry Special number 30, we out this bitch. You about to go get his piss on. I hope I hope, I hope you make it halfway down the fucking aisle. <laughs> yeah, down, down, do down the shit. Well, you're going to get fired out this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, hey. A little piss on the floor is way worse up in here, okay? <laughs> peace. All right, peace out, y'all.